coronavirus is through a vaccine. After all, this is a new disease. This is uncertain science, but I'm certain that we will throw everything we've got at developing a vaccine. The UK is at the forefront of the global effort. We've put more money than any other country into the global search for a vaccine. And for all the efforts around the world, two of the leading vaccine developments are taking place here at home at Oxford and Imperial. Both of these promising projects are making rapid progress. And I've told the scientists leading them that we'll do everything in our power to support. First, I'm today making £22.5 million available to the Imperial project to support their phase two clinical trials which are going to assess a sample of several thousand and for them to begin the work on subsequently a very large phase three trial. Second, I'm today making available 20 million pounds to the Oxford team to fund their clinical trials. The team have accelerated that trials pro process, working with the regulator, the MHRA, who have been absolutely brilliant and as a result, I can announce that the, fact that the vaccine from the Oxford project will be trialled in people from this Thursday. In normal times, reaching this stage would take years, and I'm very proud of the work taken so far. At the same time, we'll invest in manufacturing is certain. Vaccine development is a process of trial and error and trial again. That's the nature of how vaccines are developed. But I've told Sarah Gilbert and Robin Shattuck, two of our most inspiring scientists, that we are going to back them to the hilt and give them every resource that they need to get the best possible chance of success as soon as possible. After all, the upside of being the first country in the world to develop a successful vaccine is so huge that I am throwing everything at it. Since the start of the crisis, we've now delivered over a billion items of PPE. We start, we're constantly working to improve that delivery system, buying PPE from around, around the world and working to make more here at home. We have a diverse range of suppliers and we're working day and night to expand that supply base. We're in direct talks with the factories that actually produce the PPE and the fabric that it's made of. This has proved one of the most fruitful avenues. We're investigating each and every one of those many leads. Now, of course, some of these leads have led to very large scale purchases of many millions of items. But the reality is that not each of them, not everyone who approaches us can deliver uh, on their offers in scale. I'm very grateful to all those who have come forward and we are now actively engaged with thousands of these companies and I can announce that we're working with 159 potential UK manufacturers which are starting to come on stream. I've said many times that I am determined, determined to get people the PPE that they need. This is a 24-7 operation. It's one of the biggest cross-government operations I've ever seen. And I'm great the business department, the treasury, the foreign office, and the department for international trade for their enormous hard work on this. And I'm also very grateful to Lord Dighton, who delivered the Olympics for stepping forward to lead this national effort and deliver once again for his...